We're back for the next fight on the 1FC One Friday Fights, number 31. We got a kickboxing fight. Huao Xiaolong. Can almost guarantee he's Chinese based on that name. Yeah, there we go. 31 and 8, I think they said. Not a horrendous record when it comes to kickboxing. Now, who's he fighting? Looks like a Westerner. Sorry, missed that part, but that doesn't matter. He looks jacked. Probably juiced to the gills, just even looking at his gut. Really defined guy. Wonder what the name is. Let's do it. Straw weight, little guys. Okay, so he's pretty defined. He's covered in a lot of muscle. We're going to get a ton of speed out of this. We got an Italian. Cicchetti. It's going to be quick. With these lightweight classes, they move really, really quick. If you guys watch this channel, you know kickboxing is some of my favorite stuff to watch. No clinching. All right, just stay to the outside. You know, work all the striking that you have with your hands, with your legs. And see who runs away with it. I like these fights because they're usually really fast moving. And I love seeing a lot of boxing. Both guys are really quick. I'd say the Italian has uh, maybe better boxing off the bat. He has a really steady guard. And that's a good sign to me that you're going to be snappier with those punches. Right? They're not going to be out of place when they're bouncing around constantly. Right? They're always going to be in that fire-ready position. And that's exactly what he's showing us right now with his guard. Ready to defend. Ready to shoot. All right. While the Chinese is maybe... Uh, Chinese. <laughs> While the uh, Chinese fighter, Huo. That's how you say his name? Huo? Huo? Huo is uh, trying to time a counter by the looks of things. Which we've just seen. He looks like he does Sanda. Right, there's a very Sanda looking guard. Right, sort of that old school boxing guard. I don't know, that uh, Russian boxing. You see a lot of guys hold. Oh, beautiful counter again. Just trying to time those kicks and blast in. Except the fact that you're going to get kicked by the quicker guy. But at least make him pay for it with a punch. Love that. All in all, good stuff from both fighters. I'd say the Italian's going to do a little bit better if he gets on the inside and starts working that boxing. He's quicker. Looks like he has good power. And there it is. Great knockdown. Clean hook. He needs to get into that mid-range. I like that he's pot-shotting to sort of uh, like set up his entries. But he's taking a lot of risk just knowing that Huo is uh, waiting to counter. Good jump there. Like it. Mixing some exciting stuff. Yeah. Oh. Good jumping techniques from both guys. It's not a 10. In what world is that a 10 8 round? So what Mitch just said? I don't know. The more I listen to him, the more I think sometimes he's talking a little bit out of his ass. I like him. I think he's exciting and he's a fun commentator, but 10-8? It was a close round. It was a good knockdown right there. It was not just a trip. Got rocked with that hook. We got to see the Italian close the distance and work into that dirty boxing range. I think he's going to do really good in there, but I think there's a good chance that uh, Huo is going to time maybe a jumping knee uh, to counter it. You know, he sort of was doing that already, but when you're fighting somebody that's a little bit shorter, a little bit blitzy, it's an excellent technique that you can do because there's a good chance that they'll drill themselves right into it just trying to close the distance. And very hard to counter that jump knee when you're already in mid-blitz. Yep. If I was uh, Chichetti, 
Oh man, I wish I knew how to say his name. I'd be waiting on Huo to maybe throw a bit more, right? Not constantly be the instigator. You know, see what strikes he throws first and then try to counter through it. Yes, good head movement. Quick duck into that lead hook. Both guys are southpaw too. That's pretty exciting. Just noticed that. I'm sure it's an interesting dynamic for both of them. Good jump. <laughs> Man, I feel like if we saw a jump knee out of Ho, he could finish this fight. Come on, Spaghetti. Let's do it. He's dangerously quick. There's a, a nice Thai style low kick too, but it pops it off super quick. I wish he was able to box off of those kicks a little bit, but it seems like he can only throw them almost individually. You just pop off the kick and then get into his boxing afterwards. It's a beautiful thing when you can land a kick and then immediately get into the boxing. Yeah. Great gas tanks from both guys. There's that jump knee, but you gotta time it on the entry. Don't use it as a defensive movement to try to escape off the ropes. Wait for him to move in, go for that jump knee. I can guarantee you it would land. Right there. All right. See, he's trying for it. Just the way, yes, beautiful little ducking hook out of wall. There's a lot of moments for Huo to counter here. I'm not saying it's easy. Obviously, uh, the Italian's quick. He's really aggressive. He's got good hands. He's super explosive, too. I don't know how much power he has, though, in those kicks. Yes. Like, I think every time Huo lands a, a punch, it just has such a deeper impact. It's a good fight you know again another uh clash of styles that's always fun to watch leave a comment who you think's gonna win in the third round he's just using that flying knee at the wrong time good duck great head movement an excellent head kick all right but you see the way that the Italian's using his head movement, right? He's level changing, going underneath a lot of punches. So there's a good chance that you instigate that duck, you go into a knee, or you faint and you throw an uppercut. Even if you just snap a front kick up the middle, and could time it on some of that head movement and not get countered during it, it could probably be a really, really devastating strike. Good low kick. Again, counter off the kick. Yeah. Good low kicks. You saw that one buckle at the start from Huo and now he's going to be fixated on it. I want to see him go down by that again. Or he's going to fake it and try to set up into something else. Simple strategy. Going for that body again. He landed it once. He thinks he might have an opportunity for it. But again, probably going to fake it and then come upstairs afterwards. He's just trying to work Chichetti into the trap. Whoa. Beautiful counter. Caught him in the air. It's funny, I was saying that earlier, how difficult that is to time. It might have been a bit of a luck of the draw. 
because he's been doing that counter a lot anyways. But just made it look so much more devastating that Chichetti was airborne. Hope people don't exit out of this video because I'm obviously saying his name wrong. Who would have thought that the Chinese guy's name would be easier than the Italian's? <laughs> At least for me. <laughs> Good jab. One minute left. Ho doesn't have a chance. You know, at the pace he's going at right now, he's got to really unload. He's got to take some huge risks. Try to KO his opponent, or else he really doesn't have a chance. I mean, you can see my right, Chetty sort of... Uh, Becoming a bit more defensive in his striking, right? He's waiting a little bit more, popping off more jabs. He's not really blitzing. He's throwing a lot of individual, really snappy low kicks. All right. There we go. Working him into the fence or into the ropes. Unloading a bit. But his boxing, like, became a lot more reserved coming to the end of this round, right? He's playing the game a little bit. That's for sure. Wow. Duck into the spinning back fist, though. It was a good attempt at an exciting finish. He had to try something a little bit more fancy. You know. The Italian was running away with it. That's 100%. Really impressed with both of them. Fun fight overall. All right, some great counters out of Huo. You know, an obvious, more aggressive style from, yeah, from the Italian. It's good bruising on the side of uh, Huo there. I think it would be a easy win for. Let's hear how his name said. I was so close. It's Chichetti, not Chichetti. <laughs> I was. I was really. I don't know. On the right path with it. Great fight, though. Uh, pretty obvious win for Cicchetti. Uh You know, he had the pressure on the entire time. He was a little bit more dynamic in his striking. He landed probably just as many counters. Uh, had that big knockdown. Uh, got countered a fair bit as well. But, you know, he really didn't stray from his game plan at all and just continued to put that pressure on Huo the entire time. But this is just one of the fights of one Friday fights. We're going to be going through all of them. So stick around. Let's keep doing it.